Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to add fabric style mods using the fabric loader for Xalith Launcher. If you didn't watch my other video about how to set up Xalith Launcher, you should go watch that one now. Otherwise, today is going to be a continuation of how to use Xalith Launcher with only fabric mods. This video is only going to cover an example of a mod and I will show you how to basically check if your mod is compatible. Now very important guys is that we go and click on our actual version that we are going to be using today. I'm going to still continue with 1.21.5 and the reason for this is just because it is the latest version. Now, the first thing we're going to do is click on this download button on the top right hand side beside the home icon and then we're going to see that we can see a whole bunch of mods from CurseForge and if we select from a drop down menu on the right hand side where it says search platform, you can click on Modrinth as well. Now, the big thing with this is that we don't have an actual fabric loader installed yet, so this cannot download any mods until we do that. So click on return and then click on the icon that says install new version on the left hand side of the screen. Click on the version that we're going to be using today, which is 1.21.5, and then click on fabric. Now what you're going to do is select the latest version. As of today, it is 0.16.14. The next thing you're going to do is make sure that you install the Fabric API because the Fabric API is needed for a lot of mods to work. So how do you do that? Well, basically you're going to click on Fabric API and click on the latest version for the version that is for 1.21.5. Now, you can actually give this a name if you want to. If you want to name this fabric, that's perfectly fine. Or you can name it My Fabric Mod Pack. And then click Done. Now click on the Download button right beside the little text box that's right here underneath the Home icon. And you're going to wait for it to download the necessary files. Now a whole bunch of stuff is going to run on the screen, you don't have to worry, but the next thing you're going to do is click on the loader icon above where it says launch, and then you're going to actually select the My Mod Pack or My Fabric Mod Pack that we just created. Click on return, and then we're going to click on the download button beside the gear icon. Now we can install mods. Now the first thing I like to do is I like to download most of my fabric mods from Modrinth because most of them are right there for us. Scroll all the way down to where it says mod loader and click on the all button and click on fabric then click on search again and this should only show any of the fabric mods. Now one big thing guys is the vein miner mod for example, I hope they fix this maybe one day, is one of the mods that I'm going to show you an example of, does not show up inside of this list. I do not know why, I think it's something to do with their search engine, but as you can see here there's one that says vein miner at the top and I think because of that it duplicates it by mistake and doesn't show the vein miner mod that I would like to have. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this mod is because it requires other mods and this mod is one of the only ones that I have a trouble with and like to use with using it outside of the actual launcher. So let's go out of the launcher for a second and we're going to go into Google Chrome and we're going to type in the search bar Modrinth, just like so. You're going to search out Modrinth and you're gonna to go to the website, click on discover content, then click on mods and then you're going to search for this. Don't worry guys, you can actually manually install these mods very easily as well, but this is how we're going to do it. So click on the vein miner mod, click on download, click on select game version, click on 1.21.5, then scroll down until you see fabric, click on download and click on download anyways. 
Now this mod does require some other dependencies like I said, so how do we install it manually? Well the first thing we're going to do is click on return, click on this little settings icon beside the loader icon that says my fabric mod pack, click on mod management, and then you're going to click on the right hand side right in the middle where it says a little plus icon looks like a little notepad right beside a download icon in the middle right here you're going to click on this because it's going to allow us to add this mod now we are going to go to our three lines i'm going to go to my device name i'm going to go to downloads click on the three dots click on sort by modified newest first click on vein miner and now that is installed now again, I'm gonna show you how to determine your crashes if you ever get a crash, because not all mods are gonna tell you, hey, you need certain things, but if you learn how to read your log files, you should be able to learn how to read your crashes. So I'm gonna launch the game and wait for it to load and then we will be on to our next step which is going to be a crash now the game might not actually crash for us sometimes it just sits here on a black screen and does nothing else but usually you'll get a code like this on the screen this is where you can click on share your log files you can share it to your google chrome and it should download inside of google chrome hopefully if everything does itself right we should be able to see this which is right here and now we should be able to actually see our log file inside of our downloads folder so if we go to sort by modified newest first let's try to see if we can do that here there it is there's our log zip file and this is the file that we want to actually read now most devices in today's day if we long press on this we can extract it to our downloads folder should have a way to read a text file if you don't have a way to read a text file then maybe download a notepad app otherwise what we're going to do is click on this text file and it should open up your html viewer which is inside of your android most android devices have this in 2025 now scroll down guys and we're going to keep looking for a section that says reasoning or possible reason and if you don't see something like that it could be something completely different however we should be able to keep scrolling until we see something in our log that's going to tell us that we are missing other mods or dependencies for the vein miner mod and here it is guys a potential solution has been determined it was kind of like all the way down near the bottom this is telling us that we need to install the fabric language kotlin and the silk core for any version for the vein miner mod to work so let's scroll out of here guys and go back into zalith launcher click on confirm go back into zalith launcher and now make sure that you're inside of that same profile first click on the download icon click on modrinth go down to your loader set your defaults and stuff like that and then you're going to look for silk now silk is recommended for vein miner to work and I already know this and then the silk mod as you can see here with this awesome tool it tells you hey you need these two other mods to actually work and the reason why I chose the vein miner mod is because the vein miner mod is one of those mods that doesn't show up in Zalith launcher and if you wanted to go and find a mod that's not showing up in Zalith launcher and needed to learn how to read your logs this is the way you can do it so as you can see here the silk mod also needs the fabric language Kotlin so I'm gonna select that first click on my version select this version right here click on confirm click on return and then don't forget to make sure to download that silk library as well and click on confirm click on return return again and return again and then we're going to be able to launch our game now that we have those necessary files we will be able to launch our game and use the vein miner mod and be on our way to enjoying the vein miner mod with fabric mods this was probably the most straightforward guide about vein miner mod and basically fabric mods because there's so many more other mods out there that you might want to install and this is basically just scratching the surface i guess if you want to say that about how you can get mods installed now if you want to see a more in-depth guide i plan on doing another in-depth guide about installing other mods like fabric uh 
sodium and all that kind of stuff obviously you'll want like the mod menu and all that kind of stuff as well however on the most part all of these mods that are on the main page are a lot of the mods that i highly recommend you to use some of them are just extras like the xeros mini map mod entity textures uh, apple skin like some of those aren't necessary indium is not really ne necessary after 1.20.1 if i remember correctly however that is about it guys i hope you enjoy this video if you want to subscribe and keep following these guides the next video is all going to be about forge mods because forge mods are a little bit different and i like to use forge mods myself have a nice day and take care